Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing right. How are you doing today? You know what? Any day. Any day after, any any day that, or any day directly after, Michigan loses is a good day. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. There we go. That wasn't a very good, well, it may have been fine. I heard it. Okay. It was It was good then. It was good then. I tell you what, it, I, because I got the headphones on, I don't always know how it sounds. So sometimes I judge it by how splashed I get. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, here we are. Week eight. Us, it was on a bye week this la- last week here, and we were hoping to see some some chaos this weekend. Mm, and uh, no. Team Chaos let us down this week. <laughs> Team Chaos also on a bye week this week. <laughs> they were. Um, we had no, what, what, what we in the discord dot the sloop cast always be plugging, but we in the discord server, um, like to call true chaos and define true chaos by an unranked team beating a ranked team. Um, that's what, it's just true chaos, right? Um, didn't happen this week. Um, all three top 25 losses came at the hands of another 25 top 25 team. Uh, and not only that, but like all pretty similarly ranked teams. Yeah. Illinois was only a couple spots ahead of Michigan. Um, Alabama was seventh. Tennessee was 11th. Uh, Texas and Georgia were both in the top five. So, yeah, it wasn't uh, not a chaos rich week at all. Um, no, but there, there was a lot of there was a lot of near misses. There was a lot of near misses as well. So we'll, we'll we'll get into it as well. I think there was like a handful. There was a handful as well. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll get into those as we as we fill out the as we fill out the tier list. So I tell you what, Kyle, let's just get to the tier list. Sure thing. Oh shoot! I did it. Kyle, I'm sorry. I always do this. Uh, the, uh, this is the Sloop Cats or the Sloop Picks scoreboard where I am still winning. Wow. Well, not by much. Not by much. Well, you, I, I gained ground on the guest pickers and stayed even yes. on you. Hey, I, I gained one on the guest guest pickers and I am yes, now Jared tied. Cheat. I, and I am tied. I'm tied with the guest, uh, the guest speakers. Yes, but you're both two games behind me still. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's wasn't a good week overall for the slew picks. Um, Kyle and I tied for first, at least in the online or the uh, on pod slew Oof. picks, uh, and we look. went three and four. Oof. Yeah. Um, that's that's unfortunate. Um, and speaking of an unfortunate, as I said, there was no chaos this week. There was no true chaos this week. So no one scores on the chaos theory scoreboard. In our defense, it was literally impossible to score. Mm-hmm. There, there, there were I do, I do, there were no true chaos, and this is sort of where we get the phrase. Uh, there were no true chaos games this past weekend. So, I do want oh, well. to back up on our on our pickums there. I I do remember Jared. I okay. do remember you saying when I picked Tennessee and you picked mm-hmm. Alabama. And he said mm-hmm. he said, "Thank you for the point." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. And how'd that one turn out? Not in my favor. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I also said, and I don't remember if I said this on the podcast or in the Discord server. Discord.sloopcast.com always be plugging. Um, I also said that the surest bet would be that Purdue was going to cover against Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I didn't predict Oregon was going to win. Or excuse me, that Purdue was going to win, but I did say they were going to cover. They were one. They were one score off, Jared. They were one score off. <laughs> they were one score off from not being shut out, too. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get let's get back into it. I because I th- I think we have some we have some ga- um some teams to move to move around here. So, uh, was, so Zach says like, there was I, almost chaos, but Iowa State escaped. They were one of our there, near misses for sure. Yeah, there there was a few of them. Um, 
Oregon, so in our current S tier with Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, no particular order there. No particular order, very important to point out. Uh, definitely Oregon stays up top. Ohio State, we still have as sure. favorite to win it all there. Has the best um, uh, loss, I guess you would say the best loss Yeah, out of anybody right now. One, one loss, a one point loss on the road to Oregon, who's currently number one. Yeah. Um, and so along those, do, and along those so, same lines, we have to ask the question, what do we do with Texas who lost mm-hmm, yep. one score to Georgia, who is uh, another score, two team, scores. That, two, two scores. It was 30 to 15. Uh, yeah, I suppose it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and at, and at home. Complete, completely different here. Completely different. That's fair. And, so the question still remains. Well, I tell you what, let's just do the obvious thing. And Zach asks the question, do we move Georgia back to S 100%? Yep. yep. That, that's, Georgia back to S tier. That's, yep. that's indisputable. Flor- or Georgia, rather, Georgia's back in S tier. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The question is, do we leave Texas in S tier? Do we leave Texas in S tier? My vote um, is I know yes. Were, I I know I know that they were on a bye week, but what about the Nittany Lions? Undefeated, slow, six slow, and zero. Oh. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> I asked. I asked well, about Texas. I I think Texas. Gosh, it, it it's it's tough. I I I look at Texas similar to Ohio State, similar. Okay. They they looked good early on against um, inferior opponents. Okay. They get they go and play a a top five opponent and lose, it's just like Ohio State. But the difference obviously is that Texas lost at home by two scores versus right. Ohio State on the road by one point. So, I, I think they're very similar especially after what we've seen from Texas and how um, they're not as well-rounded as what we thought um, leading into the weekend here. So I, if I put Ohio State as S tier, I'd still, I still have to put Texas as S tier because I look at them as a very similar team. I agree. Um, it's weird to say, cause it's maybe the last team coming into the year that you would have said this about. I think Texas has an issue at quarterback. Um, additionally, their offensive line, which was supposed to be one of the best offensive lines in the country, it got ripped apart. Got mm-hmm. ripped apart by Georgia. Um, so... Texas didn't just lose. They had two of their best groups get abused, which feels defeating. Um, overall, Texas's loss is worse than Ohio State's loss for reasons you already pointed out. Um, but also just like 24 nothing at halftime. That's what it was, right? 24? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's... That's devastating. Um, And I guess you could say the same thing about Georgia since Alabama devastated them at halftime in that game. Although Georgia came way closer to, I mean, Georgia actually came back and took the lead at one point. They didn't win the Mm. game, but they at least came back and took the lead against Alabama, Mm. whereas Texas did not. Well, they they made it a, what was it? Um, There was 20... Yeah, it was 24 to 15 at one point. So they were, I mean, it's still two, two possession games still, uh, but they, they, they made a comeback in the third, in that third quarter there. But, but man, like, did you, did you see, did you see how many rushing yards Texas had? I you want to guess? I want to guess how much? I would guess not much. On, tw- on 27 attempts, how many yards? I I know they were primarily throwing to blue. 
instead of running it, blue. I know, but they, but still. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, I'm saying I, I don't, I don't have a guess, but I'm guessing it was bad. Twenty nine. Yeah. One point one yards per per carry there. Yeah, their offensive line got abused. They they did, a- absolutely. Um. Uh, I mean, now, gosh, uh, like Walker, Walker for um, for George, it was he had himself just a, ha- a Heisman game. game, a Heisman game. Yeah, he had him. He's mm-hmm. he's yeah. he at this point he's going to be the token. Every year there's a token, uh, either defensive player or offensive lineman, someone who's not like a normal Heisman candidate. Well, that's that's um, um. Wow, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name out in Colorado. He he, everybody's talking about him. He's still a skill position player, though. He and he yeah. plays wide receiver. Yeah. It doesn't count. It's like saying Fair Desmond enough. Howard, but that right. doesn't it doesn't Fair count. Um, All right, so we we keep we keep we keep Texas there. I'm perfectly fine. Do you, there. Are you re- uh, do you really want to make the case of Penn State favorites to win it all? Is that what you were starting to say before? Because no, I just don't Penn see State it. And putting Penn State, yeah, yeah, putting Penn State in S tier. I <sighs> wanted to br- wanted to bring that up. They are six and zero right now. Oh, I, I understand. Uh, they have, I'll, I'll say this: they have a better win than Ohio State and Texas right now. I listen. I love the Illinois story as much as the next guy. I I get it. I do. But no. I'm not I right, I I'm I'm just bringing this up. I'm bringing this up cuz they they do have the better win over Ohio State and Texas. Um uh, they do go on the road this weekend uh up to uh Wisconsin. And then and then it's the the showdown um against Ohio State the following weekend too. So I, again, we all love the Illinois story, and I get it. They're ranked. Penn State has a has a win over a ranked team. Ohio State doesn't because Iowa has totally fallen off. I get it. Mm-hmm. But let, let's take a look at Illinois real quick. Right. They're they demolished Eastern Illinois. Good job. They had a close game against Kansas, who's bad. They demolished Central Michigan. Good as you should. They had an overtime win against Nebraska, a, a team that just got run off the field by Indiana. Mm. It was 49 yep. to 7 or something stupid like that? Um, uh, worse than that. 56 to 7? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, am, I, am, I think I turned it off before the last touchdown. Forgive me. Um, they went to overtime against Purdue, which should have gone into our factoring of the Purdue... Yeah, Georgia yeah. or uh, Purdue, Oregon game. Oh well, um, and then they did. They did just beat Michigan, so congrats to them on that. Um, I'm just saying, I love the Illinois story as much as the next guy, but I'm not. Okay. I'm not going right. to hand right. Penn so State we'll, flowers over. We'll, it. we'll keep. We'll keep. Okay, we'll keep Penn State in the A tier. I just wanted to bring that up, just because they are they are undefeated and they're currently currently ranked third in the AP and and the coaches poll right now. So yeah, I they want to bring I, it up. You know, I I hate to be eyeball test guy, but they don't mm-hmm. pass the eyeball test to me. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna move a little quicker here. Boise State on a bye week, they stay there. What about Tennessee? Does Tennessee go up to the S tier, or do they stay in the A tier after their win over Alabama? I'll be honest with you, watching that Alabama Tennessee game, I don't like either of those teams. All right, that's fine. I that's fine. I I uh, think that they're both insanely flawed. Okay. Uh Notre Dame uh beats Georgia Tech um soundly. Yeah. They stay where they're at. Uh BYU, I believe, was on a nope though. No, they, they, they played Friday. That's the, that's the one. Yeah, they they had they barely beat Oklahoma State thirty eight to thirty five here. Still undefeated. Still stay in the A tier in my opinion. Thoughts, Jared? Um, we need a big twelve team. <laughs> We have them in Iowa State well, in A tier. Yep, and I yep, and, and I and Iowa State, State didn't look any better this weekend. Yeah, and the exact same score, thirty-eight to thirty-five, over UCF. 
Uh, and but, Oklahoma State is is a bad football team. We literally have them in M tier, but they're still better than than Central Florida. And neither of te- neither of these teams play each other. Yeah, in the regular season. So I mean, at the end of the day, we'll need to keep. Maybe we'll shuffle wow. things around, but at the end of the BYU, day, we have to keep one of those two teams in the A tier. BYU may go. We will not be moving undefeated. Bama to M tier. B- BYU yeah. may go may go undefeated in the regular season. Who do they got left? They play UCF, Utah, Kansas, Arizona State, Houston. The Utah game is U- at Utah. Utah, or, Utah or Arizona Utah. State could could upset them. Mm-hmm. But I would call and it Iowa, an upset. Iowa State has Iowa State has Texas Tech, Kansas, Cincinnati at Utah as well, and Kansas State. That's a much much tougher, much tougher mm-hmm. road to hoe. Yep. That being said, but there's still there is still a Big Twelve championship game to play too. Fair, fair enough. Um, the other undefeated team we have in A tier here, Miami. Who Miami with a close win. Also, on didn't the road. look great this weekend. On the road against Louisville. Louisville has a pretty good offense. I, I yes. will say that. But my, Miami's defense is not not that great. You look at the past few games here. 45 against Louisville. 38 to Cal. Yeah. Not, not, a good, not a good Cal team. No. 34 to Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's not all that great this year as well, too. They have major they, defensive issues. They got major issues here. Yep. Uh, but they are undefeated. And we got to have an ACC team in here as well. So. I mean, they're solidly uh, an A team. I yeah. mean, as, well, if you look at if you look at all of our A's, all of these teams are flawed. Uh, Penn yeah. State has terrible offensive issues. Mm-hmm. Tennessee has they're just sloppy in general. Like they're inconsistent and they're sloppy. Notre Dame, I think, has some offensive issues. They're playing. They're playing Navy this week. I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to that. Um, I think we'll learn something in that game, a thing or two. Yeah. Um, All right. In the yeah, in the last game, last team we have an A tier. We got to move down is Alabama. Alabama goes down. This is tough. This is that's two losses now. That's two losses in the in the um, SEC for Alabama. Like, I guess you put them in the B tier because they could, they can make their way as like very low end, like one of the last teams to make it in, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll they, get they got, to Indiana. Chill, Zach. Yeah, but yeah, that that's <laughs> that's tough. Like they 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 gotta. Man, yeah, Alabama's going to need a lot of help. They're going to need a lot of help. The Vandy to, to loss should have put them in M tier. No, Vandy is a good football team this year. I hate to break that to you. Vandy's a good football team this year. They're not a great football team, but they're a good football team. This is not your daddy's Vandy this year. All right, and we do have to move. So four, we have four teams in the SC, four teams in the S tier. Yes. Ohio State, Ohio State, Oregon, Georgia, Texas, in no particular order. A tier, we have Penn State, um, Boise State, Tennessee, Notre Dame, BYU. Iowa State and Miami. So we have to move it. Counting that is eleven. Yeah. So in our in our in our tiered list, we have to have twelve teams, just like in the playoffs this year, in S and A combined. So we moved Alabama down. Got to move somebody up. Who's your Who's your first thought, Jared? Of who Who should go up there? Um, because there's in my my mind there are three teams. There are three teams in our list that can that can be moved up. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me visually guess. I'm going to visually guess. You're talking about these three there teams. Yep. And those that's listening, Jared has uh, Clemson, LSU, and the <clears throat> the Hoosiers of Indiana. Yes. And what a wild list of teams to say <laughs> together. <laughs> Indiana hammered Nebraska. That was 
to me, that was more so than the Texas losing by two scores at home to Georgia. That was probably the most surprising to me. 56-7 to to Nebraska? Like, Are we a little more nervous about Indiana? Absolutely. I mean, because I mean, we started at like one. And so even if we're at five. I'm, I'm still I'm still just trying to I'm still just trying to figure out like what happened in that game. What what happened to Nebraska? That, um, like I'm 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 still interceptions like, played a huge yeah. role. Uh it, it did, yeah. Rayola had three had three interceptions for that game. Right, yeah, uh, Rayola 28 was for four, twenty eight for forty four. Not not that great. Uh what is that? Um uh not good. It's under sixty percent, fifty five percent completion. Uh, not he, good. He looked like a true freshman. Like he, yeah. he has a bright future. He's a very good quarterback. Uh, but this week, Nebraska, every week, if you play a true freshman, eventually you have to pay your play a true freshman tax, which yeah. they did. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's still channeled his thing, inner yes, Adrian yes. Martinez. But so, That's rough. Uh, yeah, see, he threw three interceptions, but the Indiana defense, we never talk about Indiana having a, a good defense. Yeah. They held Nebraska to 2.4 yards on the ground. Yeah. Per, Average. Per rush. Yeah. Where did this Indiana team come, come from? I, I think Nebraska was just totally out of sorts. Like, I, I don't know. Like, may, maybe their defense did take a big leap but forward. 56 to 7 out of, <laughs> out of sorts. Yeah. Listen, oh, dude, football's a momentum game sometimes. Yeah. That's All it's right. it's crazy to think about, but yeah, that happens. I mean, you literally see it in the NBA during a seven game series where one team will win a game by twenty points and then you turn mm-hmm. around the next week Fair. and the other team wins a game by twenty points. Like because Fair. football's football and these teams only play each other once, we put a ton of weight on these individual games because we have to. Um but sometimes it's literally like shit happens and you got behind the eight ball. Mm-hmm. That's it's literally just Fair. it sometimes. Fair enough. All right. We do. We do have to pick a team though, Jared. We do have to pick a team um, to be put in a tier, but we'll get to that after our first ad break here. So uh, I was hoping you were we are the sleep cast. We are the sleep cast. Uh, check us out over at the dot com. We can find all of our lovely links such as, um, our YouTube page, youtube.thesloopcast.com, where you can see Jared and I's fabulous faces and watch all of our visuals that um, that's put together here by by Jared. Um, so if you want to check us out, again, youtube.thesloopcast.com, uh, discord.thesloopcast.com is our community um, area. Uh, if you want to, if you want an area to talk about Ohio State, talk about uh, just football in general. Check out discord.thesloopcast.com. And uh, if you want to help support Jared and I, you can go ahead on over to patreon.thesloopcast.com as well. Uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and take our first ad break and be right back. Went to the wrong screen again. It's basically tradition at this point. Um, yeah, we, we, do, before, we do need to pick yep. a team. So the other teams, LSU. This weekend beat Arkansas thirty four to ten. Not a great showing. And Arkansas is pretty bad. It, it, Clemson didn't either. They beat Virginia forty eight to thirty one. They let up a lot of points to yeah. a to a Virginia team who's four and three, four and three this year. Yeah. And, and let's not fall prey to recency bias. I know if we if we judge this based off of last week, Indiana's the clear answer. But, but we shouldn't base this purely on what happened last week. Mm-hmm. Um, we, 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 Indiana, despite what we saw last week, I still have to believe has some serious defensive issues. But then again, so does Clemson. Clemson also has serious defensive issues. Um, I right now I feel like the safe pick. I feel like the most. The most complete team of the three still feels like LSU to me. I agree. I now, agree with that. Unfortunately, 
They're also the team maybe most likely to get kicked right back out of A tier because I think they have a, a tough, I know they have Alabama on the schedule still, whereas like Clemson has a pretty clear road. Yeah. Yeah, um, LSU, LSU uh, on the road this weekend at 730 yeah. to College Station. All, yeah, that's all. I mean, they got college. Yeah, they got Texas A and M. They got Alabama on the schedule it, still. It, it, so it, it, I feel it, like we're gonna LSU, put LSU's next LSU's next five games. Their next five games: Texas A and M, Alabama. Um, we'll, we'll see how Florida does. They 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 they, they surprised um, a little bit here this last weekend. Vanderbilt, mm-hmm. and then Oklahoma are their last games. That's, I'm sorry. Did you just acknowledge that Vanderbilt's actually a pretty good team? I okay. They are ranked. That that was they for the chat right now. That was for the chat. Okay. <laughs> that was for the chat who refuses to acknowledge so, that Vanderbilt's I, actually yes, kind of good this year. I would agree. Let, let's let's put LSU in the A tier, but but Clemson and Indiana right there on LSU's heels to yeah. To I mean into um, into A tier. They feel like the most deserving complete team of the three right now, and. We can't not include them in A tier because they have a tough schedule coming up. You know what I mean? That's not a fair metric. Um, I feel like we'll eventually be putting Clemson or Indiana in there to replace them. I I know we just made our decision, but Indiana's closest game was a 14 point victory over Maryland. No one's come close to well, let me ask two you. scores of, of Indiana. Well, then let me ask you this. Who would you rather see in A tier? Iowa State or Indiana? Iowa State? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, see, now now we're thinking. Hmm. Now we're playing podcast. <laughs> now we're having fun. Now we're doing the podcast thing. <laughs> I mean, that seems silly for us to drop no, it Iowa doesn't. Why? State down. Oh, no, 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 no. Tier. This is not about dropping Iowa State down. This is about moving Indiana up. We shouldn't leave Iowa State there simply because they were already there. That's, that's what the AP does. We're not the AP. We, we don't grandfather someone into a top 10 slot until they lose a football game. We should put the, well, you 12 best teams. And we know it's not really the 12 best teams because there's auto qualifiers involved. But of the wild card leftover slots, it should be the best teams. All right. All right. I, uh, that's not reading, Kyle. So on, oh, that's, I don't like, I don't like that person. Uh, you probably, I, I, I doubt you know who that is, but that's not a good I don't person. Know. Okay. Uh, that's fine. He's not, I don't like him. Um, the, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to move Indiana up. Uh, his right. name's David Dobrik and he's a shithead. That's right. the, uh, that, so that's, our, he's, our, he's our, from our, the non-sports side of YouTube. All right. So for, for a tier. We we took down Iowa State and added Indiana. So right on that cusp of A tier, we have Clemson and Iowa State. Kyle? Uh, Ella, Kyle? So Kyle? Mm-hmm. Yes. How do you feel about swapping Clemson and Miami? No. I, no? I can't I can't right now. Okay. No, not right now. I was willing to push you on the other one. I'll I'll let nope. you have this one. All right, Illinois. Illinois is solid B tier. I uh, say so, yeah. Only have only have one loss this year to to Penn State. Um, and then had that victory over Michigan, but uh they get to head on to Eugene uh this weekend. Thankfully it thankfully it's a three thirty game, not a new not a uh not a like a ten PM game, Jared. Yeah, there's some We'll talk about it on the Sloop Picks episode on Friday, but, uh, but there's some terrible Kansas, scheduling coming up in the Big Ten. Yeah, Kansas State. Uh, Kansas State had a, a surprise win. I'll, I'll say a surprise win on the road against West Virginia, forty-five to eighteen. Oh, a solid, 
solid B tier team still. I wouldn't say it's a surprise. I'm, I would say it's surprising that they won as decisively as they did. Is is that? Yeah. I'm not surprised that they won. I'm surprised that they crushed West Virginia. Yeah. Um, Maybe that's what you it, meant. I think a team that's, I think, also surprising here that we have in our B tier, SMU. Uh, Solid. SMU took care of business on the road against Stanford. Not a good team, but took care of business 40 to 10. Yeah. And they're, they're undefeated in the ACC still. So they they are solid B tier here. Go back their only in loss, time. Their only loss was a three point loss to BYU. Go back in time and explain to Kyle five years ago that SMU and Stanford are in the same conference. Oh crap. They are. <laughs> okay. Go back five minutes ago and explain that to Kyle. <laughs> College football is weird now. Uh, (laughs) And you know what the weirdest part is? Neither of them are in the Pac-12 or Big 12. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Texas A&M. Where do we have Texas Uh, A&M? Unimpressive win against Arkansas. uh, Was it Arkansas? They had an unimpressive win against uh, Mississippi State. Yeah, the the, the other Arkansas, Mississippi State. (laughs) <laughs> I, they're just they're uh, like substandard former sec west teams that's they, right. they're the same team in my mind before the net before the next also here, arkansas uh, yeah. is legitimately much better i'll say that mississippi yeah. state is much worse of the two uh before i go into these other ones here jared uh pit pit still Bi-week. undefeated um i mean when, when can we talk about pit Moving pit near near the top there. They're they're undefeated right now. They are six and who, oh. Who they got have on the schedule? Uh they play Syracuse this weekend. Okay. Then they go on the road to SMU. Okay. Then Virginia. Then mm-hmm. Clemson. Okay. Then at Louisville and then Boston College. So I mean if they can be undefeated going into Clemson and beating mm-hmm. Clemson cuz yeah. that, that that's not a that's not an easy path on the way to Clemson for Pittsburgh. No, I mean these these next two games are are definitely tough. Uh so we'll we'll know what Pittsburgh's made out made out of over the next 3 weeks. Um and as someone who is from Eastern Ohio and therefore would love to give Pitt the den- the uh, benefit of the doubt um they don't they don't pass the the smell test. Right, that's fine. In my opinion. Keep, uh, we, they're they're not gonna go three and oh over the next three weeks. They're not gonna do it. We, they they might not go moving, one and they might not go two and one. We already discussed having Alabama move from A tier to B tier. Um and the last ones here before I talk about those other two here, Jared. Uh Texas Tech. Uh got hammered. Sure what they, did. they got hammered. They did. All right. Move them down to C tier. Uh, they got hammered by Baylor, who sucks. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, ouch. Yeah, uh, Nebraska, you got to move down to C tier as well now. Yeah, like they got hammered by Indiana, who's good at least. At least they got mm-hmm. hammered by a good team, unlike Texas yeah. Tech. Um, Liberty lost, didn't they? No, but it was an ugly win. Wow. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, I, I guess they stay in B tier. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, we. Listen, we keep Liberty around because we need to have another group fi- group of five team around in case Boise I mean, loses. I mean, Missouri Missouri is kind of the same way with the SEC. Yeah, they are they're six and one. Uh, right now, and we have them in B tier. But God, they've looked like win, they've looked they, like they hot garbage. Lost. They should have lost. They they went into the fourth quarter. Down seventeen to six. Now, in their defense, they lose their starting quarterback like five minutes into the football game. He doesn't come back until the fourth quarter. So, Kyle, you say they go into the fourth quarter down X number of points. Guess when they got their their touchdowns after their quarterback came back? Like, fair. It's fair. for this game. In particular, and Missouri's had some struggle games outside of this game, so I'm not trying to make a blanket excuse for Missouri. I am just talking about this game. 
they they're just night and day different without Cook at quarterback. They're just mm-hmm. like a lot of teams. If they lose their starting quarterback, they're going to look a lot worse. That that was Missouri from basically the first three quarters of that football game. In their fair, defense, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, Kyle, we're um, moving down to C tier nope, now. Nope, I got two more teams. Got two more teams. Well, but they're currently in C tier, yes? No, they're in oh. B tier. Oh, you just skipped over them and according to my chart. My bad. What about, what about the what about Army and Navy here? Can Army and Navy do anything? Can they yes. do anything yes. to um yes. to get themselves moved up? Yes. First off, um uh, Navy plays Notre Dame this weekend. Yep. I'll swap them. If Navy wins that football game, I'll swap them. Notre Dame already has a loss on the year. If Navy beats Notre Dame, they take Notre Dame's A tier slot. 100%. Are you going to fight me on that? You should. I have no I have no rebuttals. <laughs> So no, you aren't. Both of these teams are just handling every yeah. team that again, granted, the teams that they currently played is they it's right. Not not the greatest teams, but correct. They're doing what they need to here. Absolutely they are. That is that is just bonkers. Yeah. What what's even more bonkers, Jerry, because it always seems like a um always seems like a top tier team plays one of these two teams and no one has no no one's played army and navy so i think some i think they're finally catching on to one of our rules here jerry yeah don't don't play army don't play navy don't play appy or um in the big 10 central time zone at night <laughs> i think that's, i think that's how we'll reword that yeah. one with the big 10 west dead yep and and i think army, army plays uh notre dame uh, a month from now as well. So we'll see. Yep. Rule number four. Yep. Rule number four. We'll, we're still working on the updated wording to that one. Cause the rule right. used to be don't play any big 10 West teams at night, but there is no more big 10 West. Anybody should move up from C tier to B tier. I have a list of candidates for those of you watching the YouTube version of the show. Exhibit a <laughs> Vandy discussion. I understand, but sure. Let's let's just ignore everything that's happened I, since then. Spikes. I only have. I only only have two teams. Well, oh. for those of you watching the YouTube version of the show, I have a group of teams sorted to the left of C tier, all of which for discussion. Now, not all of them are for discussion to move up. Some of them are for discussion to move to M tier. All right. So why don't we just work through this list, see who goes where. But before we do that, let's take another quick ad break. Because Kyle, I think we're I think we're going to add some more teams to M tier. I think it's happening. But first, we're the Sloopcast. Go to Sloopcast.com. Yada, yada, yada. Kyle already gave you the big spiel. I'm just going to say, if you need to find any of our links, just go to thesloopcast.com and you'll find a link that takes you to all the other links, including two separate merch stores, our YouTube channel, our Discord server, uh, RSS link for the podcast, Spotify page, Apple podcast page, all sorts of different pages. You find all of that at thesloopcast.com. I went to the wrong damn scene again. One of those traditions. Yeah, really. I need a, I need one of the, uh, Elgato things. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The, uh, screen scene thing. I'm a Bob Merdeals. Yep. Name's escaping me. Not important. Louisville. Uh, Louisville just lost this weekend. I don't think they have the expectations worthy of, of putting them in M tier. They stay, they just stay in C. C. All right. They just stay in C. Now, all Miss, all Miss, next on Jared's list here, on a bye week, but they, they're here sitting five and two, 
Um, yeah. One and two in the SEC, which is not, not helping them there. Uh, they only have one, one and a half tough games left. Uh, one and a half? Georgia and at Florida. I mean, I'm giving, uh, okay, that's I'm fair, giving that's Florida fair. a half. I'm that's giving fair. Florida that's a half that's fair, from that's what fair. we've seen. Yep. That's fair. But they play Arkansas, Mississippi State, and Oklahoma. Um, Arkansas could beat them. Oklahoma, depending upon if their offense wants to show up that particular week. So I, I can't put... You could I think, convince me to put you could convince me put Ole Miss in V tier, but I I don't feel I don't feel strongly one way or another to not this put week them in B tier. I I think we're gonna leave them to the left side of of C tier, um, mm-hmm. because they might work their way back into B tier. But for the right now, I say we leave them in C tier. But Kyle, real before before instead of just going down the list, I think we need to have a specific conversation. All right. Five and two Big 12 teams. Because there's a whole bunch of them. There are. Um, We have Colorado. We have previously mentioned Louisville. I think Utah is also five and two. Um, We have kind of a mess of five and two Big 12 teams who... I'm not saying we need to move any of them up into B tier. Um, yeah, we have Arizona State. That was uh, Arizona State, Colorado Buffaloes, Cincinnati Bearcats, uh, Texas Tech, who we just bumped down uh, to C tier. So yeah, that's four teams, uh, which roughly ties them for fourth in the Big Twelve. Now that I see it and I see that it's fourth in the Big 12, I'm a little less concerned about it, to be honest. Okay. Yep. Um, but I think it, I think they're worth keeping on the left side of C tier just to keep our eye on. It's, especially since those top two teams don't play each other in the regular season. That's that, that actually doesn't help the case. That just makes it more likely that those two teams will end up in the championship game. Although Iowa State, like I said, does have a really tough road ahead of them. So it could very easily still be Kansas State sitting at six and one. So as mm-hmm. long as we have BYU, Iowa State, and Kansas State B or higher, which we do, I feel pretty comfortable here. Okay, I do With, too. As far as the Big Twelve is concerned. Yep, I agree. Okay. So yes, yeah, so, so that's you that's too, it on Colorado. the Colorado. You stay there. <laughs> yeah, Colorado, Utah, Louisville, y'all, 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 hang tight. Well, Louisville's ACC. Uh, not Louisville. Uh, Texas Tech. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. All right, Jared. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago. They were they were on a bye week last week. Where we talked about if they lose, they if they lose again. Yeah. We move them down to M tier. Yeah. And here we are. Yep. Sitting at four and three. Two yeah. and two in the big ten. Yeah. I think it's time. Defending national championships, asterisk. Defending national champions, asterisk. Michigan goes down to M tier. Have you seen Kyle such a? Have you seen such a just a downfall of just how from a championship championship team asterisk to yeah. go down to the next year? How, yeah. How, how much have they just plummeted? Do I've me a never favor. Seen this in a check, long, long, maybe ever in my life. I, I have, I have an idea of one. Since you ask the question, um, yep. check Auburn the year after their national title, which that was in twenty ten. So because um, they fell off hard. Uh, once Cam Newton was no longer carrying their entire football team, they were eight and five. Yeah, that, I mean that's that was not a that, hey, that was not a good that was not a good year for them either. Hey Kyle, I got a question for you. Uh huh. If uh, Ryan Day 
who inherited a non-national title football team from Urban Meyer, was born on third base. Why are you laughing? I didn't finish the question yet, Kyle. I know you're going, but go. (laughs) Everyone knows where I'm going. That's the joke. I don't need to finish the sentence. I'm just saying, I thought if you were just given a good football team, that was supposed to be it. Yep. That's what I was told. I was told that if you were given a decent roster, that everything else was just supposed to fall into place and that you're born on third base. I thought that's how that worked. Is that not how that works? Damn. I've been lied to my entire life. Kyle, what sort of expectations did Oklahoma have this year? Are they worthy of M tier? I mean, they've plummeted. Yeah, but are they worthy of it? Like, were their expectations that high coming into the year? How about this? How about yeah. this? They're sitting here four and three. Yeah. If they lose this weekend, which they easily can, I think they go in M tier. Like Oklahoma, a a red collar. Red collar? Red collar. I, uh, red blood? Red blood. Thank you. Okay. Red blood football <laughs> program. Potentially going four and four going into November. Like, yeah, I, I, I think Oklahoma could go into empty or next weekend here. So that's, I expected that's actually that, a good point. Z spikes. That is a good. It's well, funny. If nothing else, it's funny. Well, here's the thing you expect them to well, let, let's, let's look at, let's look at, Oklahoma's schedule. So they got to they got to get two wins here. They got to get two wins. Yeah. That's tough. So that uh main, main, main one. Yeah. Main one. <laughs> God, look at that schedule. Welcome to the SEC. My goodness. Maybe main and They still have Ole Missouri. Miss, Missouri, Alabama and LSU. I mean, they could beat Ole Miss, they could beat Missouri. I don't think they will, though. I mean, if, if there's odds saying that Oklahoma wins one and a half games the rest of the se- the rest of the year, I wouldn't feel comfortable betting that. No, I I I sure wouldn't. Yeah. Um all right. We got we got to move on to the other teams here. Uh, so you have you have USC on here. I I do that, that USC it, that is welcome for the, the record big, to welcome move Welcome to them. the Big Ten. Yeah, <laughs> three and four now, three and four sitting sixteenth in the Big Ten. Sixteenth. <laughs> I'm just going. Sixteenth in that. the Big Ten. That doesn't even sound right. Yeah, <laughs> and there they are. By the way, for the record, uh, I, I pulled up the pick six preview. They had them, they had them ninth in the in the SEC. A, I'm mean, just saying, I don't think the expectations the were all ten? that high. You mean the Big Ten? No, I'm you talking about Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma. Okay. I was still on the Oklahoma thing. Um, gotcha. They were expected ninth yeah. in in the SEC. So. <laughs> Still, still head of UCLA. Ah, uh, so US USC, M tier, stay in C tier. They're three and four. They're three and four right now. So the question then again must be asked: What were the expectations coming into the year, realistically, for USC? Um, meh. Let me let me find them real quick in here they were okay they were slated to finish sixth in the big 10 you just add them one in front of that now yeah i I, i'd say they're yeah i'd say they're not finishing anywhere near sixth in the big 10 um yeah i I, let's s tier them or m tier them rather yep yes 
USC going down to our M tier as well. Uh, Vanderbilt, and I'm trying to move a little bit quicker here. Vanderbilt on the next one here. Let's wait. Yeah. Let's wait until this weekend. They play Oklahoma, right? Is that this weekend? They... I'm, or I'm not, I'm sorry, not... No, they play Texas. Ole Miss and Oklahoma play. Yeah. They, they play Texas. Plays. Yeah. I, you know what? I tell you what. It, it, all they have to do is beat Texas, and then I'll move them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's all you have to do. Yeah, just, just beat Texas for us. We'll move you up. Yeah. Wisconsin. I think I just want to keep an eye on Wisconsin for right now. They're a two-loss team. I don't think that they belong in the B tier at this time. Um, at two losses, do we have, we don't have any two loss teams in the in the B tier right now, but I I think that Wisconsin yeah. is worth keeping an eye on for now. Uh, I don't I'm not going to make the case for them to move up or down. No, Alabama's two losses. Yeah, they are, aren't they? It's still, and Alabama destroyed oh, Wisconsin. But, but but Wisconsin plays Penn State this weekend. See, we'll have that conversation. We'll have this conversation for. Right. We're keeping an eye on right. Wisconsin. You, they're, they're we're just keeping right. an eye on them. All right, you have UNLV. You know, I just felt like we needed another Group of Five team to to keep an eye on. Maybe even move I, them. I, I, I'm going to say I'm going to say keep them there. Yeah, yeah. They they play Boise State this weekend. Exactly. You you, you win, you go up. Easy as easy easy as that. Yeah, they're on the Vanderbilt plan. Yep, uh, Syracuse. Again, not a team I think that should be moved up this week, but a team to keep an eye on. Well, here, here's here's the rest of the schedule. A five and one Syracuse team. Yeah. Uh, they they play Pitt this weekend. They sure do. You, you win, you go up. You win, you go up. Yeah, you uh, get you get Pitt spot. A, after they're, that, they're on a, the Navy plan. After that, Virginia Tech. Okay. Boston College, Cal, mm-hmm. UConn. Mm-hmm. Very winnable. And then they finish the year against Miami. So two big games. And if they play those two big games well, an ACC championship game. Yeah. I I don't see it happening. But hey, I, we'll see. it's crazier shit has happened. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you have Keep Washington it, State on here as well? Only Only one loss. They're worth keeping an eye on. They have... Their schedule does not help them that out. No, it does not. San Diego State, Utah State, New Mexico, Oregon State, and Wyoming. In their defense, their conference totally left them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, in have, in one, their defense, their schedule got a little upheaved. They have two game they have two games this year. One of them they won against Washington. They beat Washington earlier in the year, and they Lost soundly to Boise State. It's it's hard for it's hard for Washington State to to get up. They they gotta have teams yeah. ahead of them to lose, and I just I yeah, just I, I, a team to keep an eye on. Mm-hmm. Kyle, we we tease you for your weird affinity for 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 NC State. However, there's another triangle team that maybe should be getting uh, your yeah. love and affection, and that's Duke. I don't like the color, but that's that's fine. <laughs> um, first win ever against Florida State this weekend, ever. Yeah, that's saying ever something. I'm not sure what the something is, but it says it. it says it pretty loudly. Twenty-two straight losses to Florida State. Yeah, I mean here 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 they are since since Florida want- State joined the ACC. Yeah, not exactly. Yeah. Well, I bet they don't two, play every year, so probably two, two and one, two and one in conference. They are six and one overall. Uh, I mean, their best win is against UNC, against Northwestern, Florida State. They do, but they do they do play SMU this weekend. Okay. Then immediately after that is Miami. See, they NC, they have a path. Then NC State, Virginia Tech, and Wake Forest. So you, they, you, you they can prove it on the field. They can prove it on the just field. Like, just like many other teams here, you, you just win and you go up to B tier. 
I well, I, I'll I'll take you one further. I I this is this is you went, uh, this is you the went SWAT two games plan. in a row. You win two games in a row. You go to A tier. Yeah, they're on the SWAT plan right now. They're on the Navy SWAT they plan. They are. They, they yep. can take SMU spot in B tier. They can go to B tier next weekend, and then go to A tier the following weekend. <laughs> Sure. All you, let's, let's, all you have to do is win. All, all you, you gotta do, do Duke. All you have to do is win. <laughs> it's really just that simple. Just, just win your football games. Uh, the Gamecocks, Kyle. The Gamecocks. What, what do you want me to do with them? <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask that question right after I said Gamecocks. <laughs> don't. Don't do that to me while we're recording. What's the, what's do you realize all of the jokes I just had to not say? <laughs> what what's what's their what's their best win? Well, they did just dismantle Oklahoma. I mean, and and that's it. That's their that's their that's their best win. They lost to LSU. They lost to Ole Miss. They lost to Alabama. They lost to Alabama by two points. They did. That's they a, did lose to LSU. That by is. Three. And they lost LSU by th- yeah by just three, but they, they demolished the, they did, Kentucky. They demolished Akron. They they got they, demolished. They got by demolished Ole by Ole Miss. Yeah, that, the Ole Miss thing is really what's holding them back. Because you can excuse away a lot of this, like oh man, you lost by three points to LSU. That's a tough break. Oh man, you lost two points to Alabama in Tuscaloosa. But, man, that's a tough break. Look at their last last games here. Yeah, Texas A and M, Vanderbilt, Missouri, Wolford as an as an SEC tradition. Yeah, and then and then Clemson to end this season. Yeah, I and listen, listen, Gamecocks. All you gotta do is win. All you gotta do is win to your make, football games. They, they, they have, have a, a path, path to make the playoffs. They don't have a. I don't of, think they have a path to to um to the. The conference championship game, but Probably they have a path not. to the playoffs. Absolutely, I mean, one hundred percent of their last five games, four of them are currently ranked. Exactly. Yeah. Just win, baby. Yep. All you gotta do is win. Just, just right. win your games. Right. Last, just last win your games, here, Gamecocks. Last two here. Just, uh, well, I'll tell you right now, the Texas Tech. We we already, now, we 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 already had this conversation. We talked about the. Uh, the five and two Big Twelve teams that included these two teams, so we we yeah. already had that conversation. All right, All right. that's fine. So we're good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Cincinnati here. Uh, well, they they're going to Colorado. I'm interested to see how how Cincinnati does there. Yeah. Uh, Listen, um, Cincinnati just win that football game. Mm-hmm. Just win, just just win your football games, and then everything will be fine. It's college football. That's how this works. They, just they win all your football Iowa's. games. They do have Iowa State about a month from now too, so yeah, they can prove their way in. Just just win your football games. Yep. Just win your football games. It'll be fine. All you got to do is win all of your football games, and then everything will be okay. This is expert uh, analysis, by the way. I'm, I'm I'm looking at all these other teams here. If there's anybody worth even thinking about worth moving down to M tier, and I I I don't think so. I I think. I don't, no. I don't think we've ever moved two teams in a single week down to M tier. Ooh, that's a good question. We'd have to ask our lore master general, but he's not here right now. Um, yeah, no, but this is it. This is the tier list. I feel very content in saying this is our tier list. Um, I agree. The only thing I feel iffy about is I, I kind of want. Clemson in A tier at this point, but I also don't know who to take out to put them in. Exactly. Yeah. That which is the definition of being on the playoff bubble. Like that's just that just is what that is. It is. Yep. I think. That's All right. It. That's it. I'm just look. Yep. I'm just looking at the other teams here, and I can. I don't. I don't think I got anything else here. So. No, we're good. Listen. If you learned anything from this show, learn this. All you gotta do is win your football games and you'll be fine. Yep, to quote yep. Al Davis, just win, baby. Just win, baby. All right. 
Uh, Kyle, anything in Kyle's corner? How about those Columbus Crew? Yes, Columbus yes. Crew uh, finished second in their in their conference, and they get to play. Do they get to uh, play in the conference championship game though? That, that, that's just, uh, that's just me being a college football. It's, it's it's a college football joke. Don't worry about it. Just move forward. Ignore me. Ignore the ignore the man behind the curtain. Well, ignore they, the clown. They, they they get to play the team that they just beat this weekend, uh, the New York Red Bulls. There you go. Uh, they play. What when, when, when is it? Uh, the 29th. So more than a week. More than a week now. They they have best of three. Uh, coming up here against the Red Bulls. There you go. All right. Anything else in Kyle's corner? I. I don't think so. I think we'll just we'll just end it there. All right. Uh, reminder. Uh. Follow Ohio State, and actually you can follow us. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how you find us, per se, on the Bleacher Report app, but we will be doing what I, to my knowledge, is our final uh, Bleacher Report stream of the year. I did find it once. Good job, Spikes. If you're in our Discord server, you will find it because we will send you the link. But we'll be doing a Bleacher Report uh, live stream on the Bleacher Report app immediately after the Nebraska game on Saturday. Um, the link may or, no, the link will work. Your app didn't work and that's your fault. Spikes. Yeah. That is you. you so, so this is it. Everyone else this, got in just fine. The link new, was fine. I didn't make the app. New, Prove it. Prove you didn't make the game. app. Yeah. So this is a noon game. Uh, so we'll be going live Roughly around three thirty. Yeah, roughly, roughly three thirty. Um, mm-hmm. So, if, if you can find us on Bleacher on the Bleacher Report app, do that. If not, just on Discord, we'll send you the link. Uh, and also, yeah. just follow Ohio State on the Bleacher Report app. You may or may not get a push notification, but like I said, just Discord.thesloopcast.com. We'll send you the link. It's just that easy. Um, and that's it. Uh, tonight's ending music is, uh, we'll be doing Signals Midwest, who are a Northeast Ohio band. So with all that being said, I'd like, uh, uh, let's do the song Alchemy Hour. Uh, Signals Midwest, the song is Alchemy Hour. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, sports local podcasters. Once again, these are Signals Midwest.